welcome back to my channel if you are new please subscribe and turn the notification bell to get notified for every episode i make let's begin think that you are going to sleep at night and like all of us we had weird questions in our minds that we don't find an answer for it and you would think that everything happens in our universe if it has a reason or it happens randomly and this reason has a reason for it or not yes we all think at this stuff sometimes i know but if you continue thinking in a reason that happened due to another reason you will get lost and let me tell you that everything happens in this universe happens for a reason not randomly and that's what we call it by the butterfly effect and this famous example that if a butterfly present in India and it moved her wing, there might after 100 years would be a reason for a tornado in USA. But how? How a small butterfly can make a big tornado in USA? But that was an example for a big meaning. Let me ask you, why did you drop the cup? You would tell me that you moved your hand, then it fell. And I ask you, why did you move your hand? You would tell me that your brother was running at you due to a rat in his room. And I ask you, what brought this rat? You will tell me another reason. Do you get it now? That a very tiny thing can be the reason for a much bigger event that may take place. There was a man called Laplace. He said once, we may consider that the current state of the universe is the effect of its past and the cause of its future and the cause of its future, and so on. What he means that all what happens in our universe now is due to an effect that happened in the past and has an effect in the future. So if you go to a scientist and ask him where will be the position of the moon at this day after 100 years, he could tell you by your informations to him about its state and etc. So we all can't predict that anything that will happen by its effect on us now. But we found that not everything can be predicted now. Like the scientist Werner Heisenberg, when he came to study or know the position and the speed of the electron, he couldn't know it. Because as simply the electron is moving and rotating everywhere and totally randomly, so it's impossible to know its place. But you're gonna ask me, is the electron can affect at a cup to fall? I would answer you with the scientist Edward Lawrence. There are three equations that you can use it to know the state of the weather. And what he made, that he changed some little little numbers, like 0.001, a very small change. He found that these changes that he made, it was a reason for a big changes in the whole weather. And let me end with the short story that makes all of that clear. At 28 June 1914, there was a prince at Serbia called Franz Ferdinand. He was going on a trip with his wife to Bosnia. But the driver got lost and took a wrong street. And unfortunately there was a man called Gavello Princip who was at the street. And he killed friends and his wife because he hated Serbia. And this assassination was one of the big reasons that led to World War I. And this war led to World War II. And all of that by the wrong turn that this driver took it. Can you imagine it? This assassination was one of the reasons for all it were one. And that was the butterfly effect explanation. Thanks for watching this episode. If you like it, please give it a like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And write in the comments what do you want to hear about in the other episode. And that's it. Thanks.